Today we're going to try vacuum forming this on the new machine that I've just refurbished. So we've got our buck here and we've got some PETG plastic over here. So this stuff's clear. We've got a protective coating on. So we're gonna try and vacuum form that around this pattern. Now, I want the vacuum form to go all the way around this. So I'm gonna put a couple of nuts on here to suspend it a little bit higher so that the form can pull around the bottom of that. So what we gotta do is drop this down. I'm gonna load in the plastic. I'm gonna keep the coating on there to try and protect it while we draw it around the form. Lock that one down. All right. Now we're gonna pre-charge the uh, vacuum tank. Turn that on. Close off the valve. Yep. While that's pulling a vacuum, we'll preheat the elements over here. All right. That'll get them warming up. So what's going to happen is, this is pulling a vacuum at the moment. This is the reservoir we're vacuuming all the air out of, so this acts as our tank. So this will end up with pretty close to zero on here. Once that's pulled down, then we can move the heaters over. Getting pretty close now. Yeah. So what we're going to do is, once the tank's at full vacuum, we're going to seal it off, turn it off, We'll run the heating elements over the top and get this all nice and soft and saggy. Then we'll run the heater out the way, pull the handle up, it'll push the buck up through the plastic, and we'll vacuum all the air out. And hopefully, it'll draw down nice and close to the buck that we've got here. All right, bring the heater across. We want about 40 seconds at full heat, and then about 20 seconds of just soaking there with the heaters turned off. Right, that's 40 seconds, heat is off. Let it soak. Vacuum pump off. Move the heater off out the way. Bring our plastic up through here. And then just suck out nice and easy around the outside. Let the air out. And that's our new vacuum form. Just got to pull it out of the plastic now.